verse 16 of of 1 Samuel 1. Count not thine handmaid for a daughter of Belial, for out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken hitherto. She's explaining what's going on here. Now, this next verse is important. Verse 17. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant thee thy, thy petition that thou hast asked of him. This is interesting. Now, God backed up the offices that he established. At this time, Eli had the highest position of any Levite in the government of God, the high priest. You'll see the priest system was uh, in, it was used throughout the Old Testament, and then uh, and so he was the honcho. He was in charge there. So when Eli made this statement, "May God grant you what you've asked for," this was a promise that God would uh, uh, do what she wanted, and and God backed that up. God supported the offices that He established. Now we'll see later this, in, the, in the few chapters here. Eli has some problems, and God removed him actually. But but the point is, he's in office now. And and Eli, the high priest, promised that God would fulfill her request. And uh, verse 18, another important principle. And she said, Let thine handmaid find grace in thy sight. So the woman went her way and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. Now this is an important principle. Once you have taken the problem to God, you've been on your knees and you've been praying about it. And you give it to God, and then we can talk more. We're talking more about prayer here as we go on. Then you don't have to go around and be sad anymore. She wasn't sad anymore after that. She went back and ate and drank and enjoyed it because she knew God was going to answer her prayer. God's working on this thing. She turned it over to God. God's going to take care of it. Now remember, it said that God closed her wounds so that she couldn't conceive. So and God's going to do something about it. And, and, the, and the priest even promised that. Okay, important principle about prayer. Once we've once you pray, you know, I, I, I'll talk more about prayer here, and I've had cases where uh, situations in my life, we're going to talk about it a little later here, but I mean, uh, the point is, there's no reason to be sad once you have turned the situation over to God. You've gone to the highest power in the universe, you've laid this whole thing out in your situation, and you've talked it over with God, and once you've done that, you can have confidence, faith, belief in things we cannot see, Hebrews 11.1, 1, things we can't see. And, and God's going to do something about it. And that's important. We believe. We believe that God is going to answer prayers. Faith. We believe it. Okay. Remember the the uh, you had the, the uh, parable of the talents, and, and there was the two two uh, of the, I mean, men. They could have been women. Two, two men there, and they uh, multiplied their talents. And the last one, he said, "Well, I knew you were a hard man. I knew you were a difficult person." He didn't step out in faith. He didn't do what he should do to take what God had given him and make something out of it. No, he, he went backwards. No faith. Didn't believe God was going to back him up. And, and you see, what, we can go back there in Matthew 25, as he said, it wasn't a very really pretty thing, this poor guy. But the, the point is, we believe. So, notice, Hannah believed. And she went back. And she, and no more, she wasn't sad. Well, I had a mopey face. Uh, my trouble. She turned over to God. Now she's normal. She's happy. Because now she has put this request in the proper male slot here, there's going to be action taken because this is God. Okay, 